Hi. Uh, welcome. We want we still want to share with you great messages of the kingdom. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. Reaching out to you from Apostolic Faith Church, Bahati, Nairobi. I tell you, I love you. The Bible says God has taught me to love. The love of God has been revealed, not from people, but from heaven. Romans 5 verse 8. The love of God is revealed from heaven in that Jesus died for us while we were yet sinners. Jesus struggled, died for us when we were his enemies. That is great. I always tell people, the Bible says, you husband loves your wife as Jesus loved the church. It's double. Christ loved the church when it was his enemy and that love changed the church and Jesus loved the church again which he had already worked on and it was acceptable and clean. I always tell husbands, you, you marry raw materials to change to, that they may become the wives that you desire. That is a sacred in marriage that I will not preach today. But I want us to go to the message avenues of uh, avenues of divine refreshment. We started last time. Let's see the word of God. Psalms chapter 14. The Bible says, I cried. Another avenue of divine refreshment. Another avenue of divine refreshment is Psalms 14. The Bible says something here. Psalms chapter 14. Uh -huh. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of a mire clay. He set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our Lord. Many will see it and fear and your trust in the Lord. Now I want to say this in Jesus name. One of the mighty, glorious, gracious avenue of refreshment is that my God now will incline to the cry of a person who is thrown into a pit. That pit has two characteristics. It, it is horrible and the clay inside is so wet that is so slippery, however hard working you are, it's so slippery. It's like driving, even if you have a, a land cruiser, for you drive, and the soil, the clay is so slippery, the more you accelerate, the more the vehicle gets stuck, and the more it gets stuck. There's that kind of attack where the more you accelerate, the more you get stuck because the ground is slippery. That is two attacks. You are in a pit. It's okay. Your effort to come out are fruitless because of the slippery clay. And the, and the circumstances within that pit are horrible. I declare by the mouth of God, right now as I speak, God is inclining to your cry. Bible says he begged a little bit and get his ear closer to you just to check who is that person deep right there crying. No man is able to remove you. People have no space for you. The world has no space for you. They never, don't regard you. To them, you are disturbance, or to them, you are an extra burden. They are busy. But right now, the Lord is removing somebody from a pit, a lifestyle that has those two characteristics. It is horrible and it's slippery. And the Lord is doing it. And you will experience a divine intervention. God will remove you. And actually, the project has started. And you will be an instant 
instrument of his glory. You make sure that you step on the rock. Instead of stepping on the slippery ground, you step on the rock. And God, you make your steps prosperous. Instead of slippery ground, you will make progress in business. Make progress in the ministry. Make progress in peace and in achievement. And another thing you used to cry. Instead of crying, God, you put a new song in your mouth. And he will make sure, whoever you see you, even before you tell them what has happened, they will discover who your God is. And I declare to you, you are going now to prove, to be used by God to prove his strength. And that's one avenue of divine, uh, one avenue that God has, avenue, of divine refreshment. That's very important in Jesus Christ's name. Another avenue of divine is Second Kings chapter two. I know you know about that story. Is when now Elisha knew that God is going to take Elijah, and it came to pass the Lord was about to take. Up Elijah into heaven by whirlwind, and that Elijah went to Elisha from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, "Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to Bethel." Another avenue of refreshment. These days, God is calling so many people through impartation. And I say sometimes when I pray deeply, even when I serve God, I know I've worked with God for the last, preaching for the last 45 years. I sometimes says, I ask God, I wish I can have a, a young person, a young daughter to get the blessing from my heart. God speaks to me about impartation. Make people rich. Make people delivered. Let your anointing cover so many people. God, I wish I can get so many people under this anointing. God has clean, holy, sanctified, set apart prophets, not diviners. And that's why I always thank God for the story in 2 Kings chapter 4, where the Sunnah woman said, I now know the man who passes by is a holy man of God. I'm talking about you prove a person to be holy. Because there are so many people who are not holy. They are diviners, they are witches. Which, but now, there's a lot of God wants to use a servant and to put you into a process of impartation. And that's now, Elijah says to Elisha, Elisha, stay here. God has sent me to some to another place where he's going. God has sent me to Gilgal. And Elijah said, Elisha said, as the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Sons of prophets, these are fellow ministers, fellow brothers, and sisters in Christ. They tell Elisha, Elisha, don't you know, very soon, your master will be taken from you. And he says, keep quiet. I know be silent. Remember how God was working. Elisha was to inherit double portion from Elijah. It was clear. But it required that he follows Elijah until that happens. But that secret of how double portion will come to Elisha was only known by Elisha, Elijah, and God. But Elijah had an issue here because he thought maybe the issue of being taken to heaven alive is a secret between him as a mature prophet with God. But now Elijah said, Elijah said no, 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 no. Even if you consider me to, not to be a prophet, I'm not experienced. I'm not supposed to be where major experienced prophet should be. I'm following you. I'm not to be left behind. Where you as a gifted prophet is going. If God is sending you to Bethel, even if I have not received this anointing, I'm going with you. And they went, went, went. 
Some people, sons of prophet, discouraged him. He told them not to keep silent. They went. Oh, it was powerful. They went. And two verse nine. So it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elisha, "Ask what I may may I do to you before I'm taken away from you." An opportunity of impartation was made open. One of the way of refreshment is following on until the opportunity of receiving the impartation that God talked about is made open. You know it, but it has not been open. But you are following the right prophet, the light altar. Follow on. This issue of inconsistency is bringing out a problem in the churches. You are active now, tomorrow you are not active. Today you are holy, the other day you are mixed up. Stop. Stop. Be consistent like Elisha. And you ask and now ask what you want. And Elijah, Elijah said, whatever you, are, you have asked is available. If you be there when I'm taken. And you know Elijah followed. And you Elijah was taken. And eventually, if you that chapter, God started using Elisha in double portion, double way, way power. And God will bless you also. If you become so active in following now the prophetic direction where God is leading his children, where the Holy Ghost is showing us the next season. Don't mix. Don't miss. Go with us. Let's go. Let's go be there. Very soon there will be an opportunity of impartation. And God will tell you to know you look to be a very active young man. You appear to be so consistent, you young daughter. What do you want? If you be there to the end, if you follow on to know, if you follow on with this man of God, this person, this, this, this move that you see God has presented, very soon it will be clear and impartation will be done. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, the second way of refreshment, this refreshment is that follow on. There's a direction. People are running away from the true direction of impartation. And people want shortcuts. People want gimmicks. People want some funny, funny things. God is not out for funny, funny, straight demonstration. God is out for the reality of miracles, reality of righteousness, and the reality of true impartation. Follow on. And now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you come out of resonance. Come out of that heaviness. Don't be left behind. The direction prophets of God are taking. Be active. Be adonish. For very soon, the Lord is making an opportunity for you for impartation. Just as he did for Elisha. And now rise up. Receive power. The dust for God. For all. For very soon, double portion is coming. You are the Elisha of the hour. Oh, it doesn't matter where you live. You are the one. And God is giving you a divine refreshment of a prophetic by breakthrough. In Christ, I bless you.